Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here and sometimes in life you gotta take some chances. I'm actually recording this video uh, on October 14th, which funnily enough, this is actually the day that Evil Geniuses groups played not 100 Thieves, so how can I possibly be making a 100 Thieves is finished video and I will explain to you just that. One, uh, yeah, 100 Thieves doesn't even play till Sunday. I just had to check real quick to see if they played Saturday or Sunday. They don't even play till Sunday. Um, but I am actually going to be in New York City for Worlds this weekend. Uh, I'm not actually coming back till Monday morning, and then Monday morning I'm coming from Worlds straight back into work. So I'm going to be crazy, crazy busy. So I needed to get a couple of videos recorded beforehand. Uh, we will be covering news at some point, because there is still plenty of news to talk about. That is the big part of this channel. I do want to still talk about news and stories and offseason and all that. We will be getting to that stuff, but I do want to wrap up uh you know the 2022 season for a lot of these teams uh and yes 100 these by the time you're watching this video they are finished i can guarantee you that uh they are 0 and 3 headed into the uh you know, the final day where i'm gonna guess they're probably gonna go 0-6 maybe i'm gonna look like an idiot because maybe 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 they found a way to take down the flying oysters maybe they're one in five right now and i'm gonna look absolutely ridiculous but i still think I can talk about uh, 100 Thieves because we know probably what's going to happen. Guess what? These last three games are probably going to play a boring style. They're probably not going to look very interesting. Um, they're probably just going to look overall pretty bad. And it's super interesting because I had kind of seen this coming the whole year. I really thought it was very, very disappointing when they chose to run back the exact same roster as in 2021 where they didn't look that strong. Now, 100 Thieves fans and apparently even the management were sucking on some absolute hopium and I cannot believe how many of the fans really 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 fell for that hopium of like hey guys we went three and three in the group stage last year we're gonna keep the same team together we're gonna have more synergy and we're gonna be even better when like no that is just not the case at all yes you went three and three at groups uh in groups at worlds last year but two of those wins were against a minor region and against the east you went one in three. You can say the one win was against EDG, I think, who ultimately ended up winning Worlds. But still, at the end of the day, you went one in three. And if you would have had another major team in your region, you probably would have went one in five or two and four. It wasn't like you had three good wins. You had a single good win out of four. Now, yes, you only had four opportunities. Very, very small sample size. And yes, you did 2-0 a minor region, which is something that 100 Thieves is not doing this year. Um, but... To be so confident in last year uh, was really crazy to me, and that's why I've been so critical of 100 Thieves all year, and that's turned into people calling me like a 100 Thieves hater and all this weird stuff, and it's like, no, ultimately I've been pretty right about them. You know, they didn't win any titles this year, and yes, they made it back to Worlds, which isn't a super high bar in North America, and they're currently 0-3, and, and I think they're probably going to go 1-5 or 0-6, and they've really wasted a whole year because now... Coming into this offseason, they're probably going to blow up the roster. They're probably going to make some big changes. They're probably going to be changing out at least two players, if not three, if not four. And then next year, in some ways, yes, it could probably be this like awesome year where a bunch of things go right and a bunch of things come together, but it's more likely going to be more of a rebuilding year. And this year in 2022 could have been their rebuilding year. And in 2023, they actually could have had a decent team by then. But for some reason, you know, Papa Smithy or whoever at 100 Thieves had this hard on about, hey, all these teams, they changed their roster too much. We're going to run back the exact same roster and we're going to we're gonna use synergy to beat everybody. And it's like, hey, that doesn't really work. I, I, I agree that cores of teams probably should stay together more, but ultimately at the end of the day, if you are not a team that is like dominating your region, especially when you're in a region like the LCS, uh, and if you're a, a team that's not like competing for international titles, which 100 Thieves was very, very far from doing that, you should probably be making at least minor changes. You should be looking to make at least minor upgrades or tweaks or something because otherwise all the teams around you and all the teams around the world are going to be getting better while you are going to be staying the same. The synergy aspect is way, 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 way overvalued. And that's something I've been saying all year. And again, that still hasn't really been proven wrong. Uh, it's more of a buzzword. 
you had a whole year to play together last year. You had a whole nother, like, it's not like they're still gaining more synergy now two years into this, this roster. And a lot of them have been playing together even longer than that. Cause you got to remember this team was the core of the golden guardians roster. If it's taking you two, three years and you're still gaining synergy one, we don't see that anywhere else in the world. No other region has teams that are like getting better the more they play with each other year after year after year. There's there's like literally almost no evidence or data that this synergy thing that 100 Thieves is riding off of this year even exists uh, outside of like shorter term. Yeah, over like the course of the split, you can gain synergy. Maybe even over the course of a year, you can gain synergy. But like two, three, four years together, uh, like wh why does 100 Thieves just run back the same team for the next 10 years and 12 years from now, they'll be winning worlds because they'll have like such an insane amount of synergy. It was just so weird. And this team obviously had weaknesses, you know, like did this team have five world-class members at all five positions? No. Together, did they play like a world-class, world-caliber team? No, not really. I think you could have at least made arguments that they should have at least considered options. And I'm sure they did consider options last year, but I at least would have liked some amount of changes to be seen. I thought it was cool that Tenacity was going to be included in the spring. That turned out to just be a farce. It turned out to be just absolute bullshit where I only ended up playing one game the whole season. Um, and yeah, this was just a really disappointing and really... Um, just a, a waste of a year for 100 Thieves in a lot of ways. You know, they didn't develop any of their exciting talent that they've had in Academy. They didn't uh, do anything meaningful throughout this year, and they just pretty much ran a ran back a mid-roster and had mid-results. And if that's your goal, to just kind of be like a, a good LCS team, not even a great LCS team, but just to be like a good LCS team um, that's like inconsistent and, and goes on runs every once in a while, then yeah, I mean, congratulations. Yeah, you did that. Run back the same roster uh, next year. But if you're cha if you're trying to be like great, even in the scheme of the LCS or, or great, even in the scheme of the world, you were probably going to have to make some changes and now headed into next year I am very very curious to see what this team is going to do because all of their members have had some high highs like even Abadage who I've been very very critical of he has had some some high highs at, at points throughout his 100 Thieves tenure and obviously he helped he helped them a lot uh last summer uh you know really turning this team into a, a good LCS team from what was just kind of like a meh LCS team before that with uh you know their their mid lane issues that they really struggled with before um someday he was really not so great Great last year but he was probably 100 thieves best player this year closer at his best he looks like an mvp at his worst he's just kind of like invisible and does nothing fbi at his best can be the best ad carry in the lcs but at his worst you know he's just pretty invisible uh and who he i think has soured to a lot of fans as well at some points he looked like maybe one of the better supports in the lcs but now he just looks uh not very good anymore so there is so many ways 100 thieves could go um you know i do really think the bjergsen to 100 thieves move is a really really interesting exciting one i do think 100 thieves needs to move on from abadage at this point again this was without me, without me seeing the final last three games of worlds but i don't really think there's anything that could change in those games except for 100 thieves like going four and oh on sunday and making it out of groups or something that would really change my mind all that much We'll have to wait and see what happens. Uh, there is a very, very real possibility that they decide to, uh, you know, blow up the bot lane as well. Maybe go with an entirely new bot lane. I think if I was Hunter Thieves, I would probably uh, try and go after Bjergsen or some kind of new mid laner, whoever that would be. Um, and, but I, I would absolutely consider changes at every single position. Um, I think a lot of fans are going to be calling for Hunter Thieves to be bringing up Busio, bringing up Tenacity, going after a new mid laner, and maybe running back closer in FBI as the AD carry and jungler. Um, but some people are maybe even going to want them to go after another another AD carry as well. It seems like the fans are, are really liking closer and, and wanting to keep him around. But other than that, everyone else, hundred thieves is, is probably replaceable. Uh, someday maybe being the second most likely to stay just because he's been at hundred thieves for so long. Uh, and, and I know that they want to, to do right by him. And again, someday was really good this year. Um, but it just sucks when you have a guy like tenacity in Academy, who seems like he might be next up of being like a very, very good top player in the LCS as well, especially when you see what a guy like soul was able to come in and do with TSM. So, I don't know. Uh, by the time I'm putting out this video again, like I said, I do think 100 Thieves will be finished. I'm sure 100 Thieves are finished. I'm sure they had another disappointing end of their world run. Uh, I will be there. I'll be there live in person in New York City on Saturday and Sunday. Hopefully Rogue uh, gets it done and has a nice little run. Hopefully 100 Thieves does something. Hopefully they at least win one game. I want to, you know, I'm going to be cheering for 100 Thieves. I'm going to be probably wearing some 100 Thieves merch. I'm probably going to be chanting, you know, USA, 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 the whole thing. Uh, and I hope they get to win at least one game because I want to cheer. I want to go crazy. Uh, and I would love it if they you know win four games and go on some tiebreaker or whatever but again 
they're probably going to lose at least two. They might even lose three. They're probably finished. And as of the time you're watching this video, it's probably the offseason for Hunter Thieves. Uh, and I am definitely going to be very, very curious to see what they are going to do because they are, you know, one of the higher spending teams. They are a team that really likes winning and really wants to win, really wants to be competitive. I do think Papa Smithy is a good jam at the end of the day. I just don't really agree with his philosophy on the 2022 season at all. Uh, and I think overall this year has been not an absolute disaster because they still ended up at Worlds, but like not all that great. And you guys see how weak the LCS is. So like is making it to Worlds throughout the LCS really all that much of an accomplishment? Uh, I don't know. Uh, just kind of depends what your goals are. But yeah, pretty much it for this video today. Definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate that so, so much. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about anything we talked about in this video today. Uh, subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest content. Hopefully catch you guys in the next one. But until then. Peace.